Hello, so apparently there is a shortcut on my keyboard that pulls, stops the recording of a video and then deletes it. So, whoops. So it's 10 p.m. and I guess this will get me to my point faster because I already got to it. Um, so I was talking previously about the Two-Spirit, which is a Native American concept that I have researched before because I like researching weird genders. Not weird, just different. Um, so the Two-Spirit was in a very large portion of the Native American tribes that got squashed out by the white people, as per usual. Um, so the Two-Spirit was somebody who had the spirit of both genders in their body. So it was like original gender queer sort of a transgender sort of a person. Um, and it was really cool because they were like the highest religiously in a lot of these tribes and like the shamans and stuff often cited as. Um, and it was really cool because the, so if you had a female two-spirit, like she had a female body, um, then they would marry a widowed um, woman. And then it was really cool because then there wasn't a chance of having more kids, um, unless something went horribly wrong. <laughs> um, uh, where was I going? Oh, yeah. But then the widow would secure um, care for her children. and But, like, that wasn't the only cool thing. There were a lot of other cool things. And African tribes, very often, I don't remember in what region, but in one of them, <laughs> um, there were five genders, and those all got squashed out. And now most of Africa is just two-gender society. Um... And in India, they have the Hirajas. Hirajas, I just had a conversation with my mom about how to pronounce them, and I don't remember what the outcome of that conversation was. Um, Hijras? Hijras sounds right. So, pretty much, it's this, um, like, ostracized class, but they didn't used to be ostracized, which is really just stupid. Um, ow, my feet. I'm kneeling, if you can't tell. Um, so, it's all men who have been castrated, or not, and, um, just cross-dress, pretty much. Um, and it's actually really sad, because often they will be used as prostitutes for other men and give them lots of STDs and not have any care and the government pretends like they don't exist. And it's really sad, but it's also really cool because it's like this whole separate culture and they have places where only they live now that didn't used to be a thing. Um, and what was I going to say? Oh yeah, for, there's like one region where you have to have a hijra present for the birth of a new child. I should have researched this before talking about it, because it's been, like, months. Um, except for the Two-Spirit. The Two-Spirit was recently. This is all just a tangent. And I'm super tired. And improv was awesome, and I'm so excited for tech training, and y'all should sign up, except for the fact that there are only, like, ten class spots or something. Um, improv auditions are on Thursday. Callbacks are on Friday. You probably all know that. I just thought that I would point it out again, because stuff. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Ooh, also, I discovered an amazing thing called Amazon, which I didn't really do before, because I wanted to find a corset, but it's really hard to tell if the site is reputable or not, and I don't want to give out my credit card information to crazy random people on the internet. Um... Yeah, but it's really funny because you, to find corsets, you go on t to women's attire, and then intimates, and then lingerie, and then it's like corsets, bustiers, and other exotic, exotic attire, um, but like, I don't know, weird things come up, so yeah, now it's like trying to get me to buy lots of lingerie because I looked at some corsets, um, and 
and also Amazon's got just like I don't know I would expect better programming in the recent age it's really hard to navigate but I do like everything on it um so yeah I kind of went overboard I think I'm buying three corsets but two of them are only cinchers um well, one of them is a cincher, and one of them is more like an underbust, but it looks, I don't know, it's like if an underbust and a cincher had a baby. And then one of them is overbust and rose pink, and has pretty lace on it for my Victorian costume, which I'm also buying really awesome goggles for, that have like magnifying glasses on them, because my character is like a mechanic, and... Oh my god, I went so far over time, so I'm going to say to be continued, and I am going to pass out right now, you guys.